Muy buenas tardes, mi raza. Today is Monday, June the 26th. And I'm bringing you guys here to the Bellevue Cemetery in the city of Ontario. The lovely dead city of Ontario, I should say. <laughs> yes, I am here at the Bellevue Cemetery. And I am bringing you guys here today, guys, so we could talk about un señor que se llamaba Captain John Pope Robertson. Yes, mira, that is his family tomb, I guess. Aquí está el señor. There he is. The sun is not my friend right now. I apologize, guys. Pero aquí está la tumba de la familia. The reason why I am here to talk about Mr. Robertson is because he was a big part of Ontario history. And I feel like people don't know about him or what he did or que onda. You know, guys, how that goes. Anyways, este señor era un veteran of the Civil War. And he was the founder of the first bank that was established here in Ontario. That bank was Citizen Bank, and it was on the corner of Euclid and Holt. Tengo una foto. Check it out. Well, Mr. John Robertson was originally from Missouri. So, no era de aquí el señor. Era de allá del Midwest. Um, like I said, he served the Civil War. And that is where he got the title of Captain. Mira, Captain John Pope Robertson. Um, back home over there in Missouri, he was a member of the Missouri State Legislature. Uh, he was involved. Era político el señor, this and that anyways. He came out here. He made home out of Ontario. And like I said, he established and opened the first bank, which is a picture that I had just showed you. Entonces, he continued his whole political this and that. He was actually the city's treasurer here in Ontario back then también. Well, his big old break came in 1885 when he was all over the media in those days, newspapers, que esto y que el otro, because there was another bank down the street from him. Ese banco se llamaba the Ontario State Bank Block. Well, este banco, it was held up. Two gunmen went in there. They held it up. Que give me all your money. Que esto que el otro. His name was Fred Stam. They ended up putting him in the vault after they took off with $5,000. Well, back in those days, pues, también ahorita, $5,000 is a lot of money. But back then, oof, imagine, el dinero al right? Anyways, yeah. Um, todo el escándalo y que they held so and so up y que this and this is going on. This señor right here said, what the heck? Let me go check this out. So he went over there to the bank. And he's the one that actually freed the bank teller from the vault. Yes, that's what he did. And, well, here he lies. He passed away in 1925. There's his wife. And I'm not sure who this is, but their family. Probably brother-in-law or something. And, and that's it, guys. Stay on this Robertson family plot right here. And like I said, I just wanted to share a quick story, quick history with you guys. 
so you know who lies here, right? Yes. All right, Rasa. Como siempre, thank you for spending your time with me. Y pues, you got it from me, la comadre B.